Will you please stand for a moment of silent meditation and remain standing as we honor our nation in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. And now, join me for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the Foley High School alma mater. Foley schools are alma mater to thy praise will sing for ideal so lofty o'er us to Birthday to Yasmin Thomas, Juan Cerro, Matt Van Welsen, Takiria Davis, Jemiah Davis, and Abraham Bridges. Have a great day and a happy birthday. The quote of the day today is If you are not willing to learn, no one can help you. If you are determined to learn, no one can stop you. In 2019, the state of Alabama is celebrating its 200th birthday. The next few weeks, we will look at some of the facts and information about our state. The United States Congress created the Alabama Territory on March 3, 1817. St. Stephen's, now abandoned, served as the territorial capital from 1817 to 1819. Alabama was admitted as the 22nd state on December 14, 1819, with Congress selecting Huntsville as the site for the first constitutional convention. From July 5 to August 2, 1819, delegates met to prepare the new state constitution. Huntsville served as temporary capital from 1819 to 1820, when the seat of government moved to Cahaba in Dallas County. Cahaba, now as a ghost town, was the first permanent state capital from 1820 to 1825. From 1826 to 1846, Tuscaloosa served as the Alabama state capital. On January 30, 1846, the Alabama legislature announced that it had voted to move the capital from Tuscaloosa to Montgomery. So let me get this straight. You're a singer, choir director, and your name is Chris Brown. Isn't that kind of ironic? Well, not really, because I'm the original Chris Brown. See, my uh, students back in Navarre gave me that title back in 2008. But since then, uh, 2016 is when I got my Ph.D., so now it's just Dr. Brown. So you've been teaching for a while then? Yep, 22 years. That's why I'm so wise. <laughs> uh, what all have you taught then? Um, I've taught drama. I've taught choirs, of course, guitar, keyboard, and AP music theory. Um, I've also taught some music appreciation and some other classes at college level as well. So what would you want the students to know about the improvements you plan to make for the choir department? Okay, well we have big plans uh, for next year particularly, but we're going to be traveling to Disney World. We're going to audition with the uh, Disney Orchestra and they have a cast choir and there's a mass choir of about 300 other students that perform at Epcot each year. And so we're going to be um, going to audition for, we'll audition here and send the video in. Uh, for this year, we're going to finish off the year. Our first goal is to get superior ratings at our um, state choir festival. We're going to have a choir festival and an ensemble festival for a smaller group as well as our larger groups in March and April. Then um, then we'll do the Disney audition later on after, after that. Interesting. So what choir op options are there for students at Foley? Okay, so we have four 
four classes and five groups actually um, that students can belong to. The women's choir and men's choirs are the non-audition groups. So anybody that's interested in doing that can sign up. Um, don't worry about being a good singer. Uh, I have a PhD in music education, been a vocalist most of my life, and I'll teach you how to sing properly. Uh, we do all kinds of styles of music, so don't be scared about that as well. Pop, Broadway, rock cappella, gospel, and traditional choral music. So um, our three audition groups are show choir, where we sing and dance, obviously, chamber singers for the serious musician, typically reserved for uh, juniors and seniors, and our one after-school group is called Sound FX, which is our a cappella rock kind of group. Um, this is this is our group that sings in a style of pitch perfect, and uh, but you've got to be a, a member of a regular class to be able to join that class. So. Uh, is there anything else that you would like us as students to know about choir? Sure. Just come talk to me. If you like music a little bit and don't mind working to become better, come try it out. Uh, I've taught students who are involved in everything at school, and we encourage you to try it. I've had singers who received football scholarships for college. I've taught cheerleaders, chess players, and guitar shredders. So uh, whatever your interest is, if you like music, I think you'll enjoy a choir. Come join it. Come join us and just try it out. You have time to try it out. If you don't like it, then you then we can swap you out. But please come try it. If you want to be a part of something great and you love music, I just want to encourage you to, to sign up for one of the choirs here at Foley High School. Thank you so much for this interview, Dr. Brown. I enjoyed speaking with you, and thank you for all the information that you gave us. And thank you, Christian. And thank you for singing in choir, too, Christian. So <laughs> Nachos will be sold in room 308 today and tomorrow for two dollars. Also, the math teachers will be selling drinks in their classrooms today for one dollar. Attention Interact members, there will be a service project field trip to Graham Creek on Friday, March the 15th. The date has been changed from the 22nd. If you are interested in going, please see Ms. Styron. Any Key Club members that are interested in attending the District Key Club Convention needs to sign up on Ms. Horan's door. More information will follow. We need to know who is interested. Thank you. This is a reminder for anyone interested in trying out for Fuller High School Cheering Squad. There will be a parent meeting this evening in the library at 5.30 p.m. to go over trial information. Seniors, congratulations. It's countdown time. This is a friendly reminder that you are scheduled by home rooms to meet with Ms. Cody and Ms. Daniels today during first block in the cafeteria. Your home room teacher should be able to give you your meeting time. You may also see the meeting schedule in your Google Classroom. Group 1 should report to the cafeteria immediately after morning announcements. Hurry and get there so that you don't miss out on any of the exciting information that you will need to get you ready for graduation night. I'm Michael Bingard and this is the Locker Room Report. Today's sporting schedule will have four sporting events going on. The ninth grade softball team will be in Alberta taking on the Warriors at 7.30. Also, the Lady Lions golf teams will be at Quail Creek going against Robertsdale. The track and field team will hold their first event this afternoon on campus. Finally, this evening, both boys soccer teams will be in Fairhope at the football stadium against the Pirates. The JV starts at 5, followed by the varsity at 7. And that's all from the Locker Room Report. Hello, Foley High School. Today for lunch, we'll be having crispitos, ranch-style beans, maybe carrots, fruit, and don't forget your grab-and-go. Have a great day. Well, those are all the announcements we have for you today on your Daily Lion Pride News. I'm London Marcella. And I'm Paige Brobrock. Today is Thursday, March 7th, and it's Blue Day. Shout-outs go to Peyton Miller and Jacob Parker. Have, have a great, great day, Foley High School. school.